Hello friends, welcome to cybercatsolutions.com. In this session, I am going to explain how to modify properties of selected objects. To modify properties, type mo at command prompt, which is shortcut for modify properties. Type mo at command prompt and press enter. You will get a palette like this. Here you can see there is no selection. So if you want to change the radius of this circle, just select that circle. Now you can see circle is the selected object. So go to radius property over here and change it to say three units and press enter. You can see its radius has been decreased. Similarly, you can change line type to this circle. So go to line type property over here, open this and select dashed. Now you can see its line type is also modified to dashed. Press escape to finish the select changing properties. Similarly, if you want to change the height of a text, select the text and make sure it is selected and then go to height property over here and change it to say two units and press enter. Now you can see its height has been increased. Make it 1.5 and similarly, if you want to change its rotation angle, you can enter its angle say 15 degrees like this and you can set it back to by entering zero. Like that, you can change any property, say justify. If you want to change the justification of the text, go to justify property, open it and select say some middle center. You can see its justification has been modified. Similarly, press escape to finish modifying properties. Now, if you want to modify the properties of this dimension, select that dimension and go to properties. Now, I want to increase its scale. so. Go to fit tab over here. Here dimension scale overall is one unit. Just make it five and press enter. It seems little more. So make it three units and press enter. Now you can see it's text height arrows as well as everything are increased. And if you want to display 10 units as 20 units, you can do that one. Just go to linear factor in primary units it is over here and change it to two times so that the original value will be doubled you can see it is displaying 20 units like that you can modify properties of dim selected dimensions also press escape to finish modifying if you want to change the closed property of this polyline select that polyline go to miscellaneous properties which is over here Select this closed property, open this combo and select yes. You can see it is closed now. So like this, what are the properties available to selected entities? Those can be modified in this properties palette. Press escape to finish. You can open this palette by pressing control plus one key also. You can open as well as close using the same key control plus one or you can type mo at command prompt. Now we shall see match properties command. Match properties command is used to match source object properties to selected objects. So let us try that one. MA is shortcut for match property command. Type MA at command prompt and press enter. Now if you observe at the command prompt, it is asking select source object. I am selecting this dashed circle as source object. Now if I select this polyline, its line type has been changed. You can see that one. Similarly, if I select this rectangle, its line type has been changed. Like that, you can match one object properties to another object. You may have doubt that what are the different properties that are that will be matched from source object to destination object. You can see that one. Type MA at command prompt and press enter. Now select the source object. Let us say I'm selecting this text as source object. Now on the prompt, we have settings option over here. If you click this one, a dialog will open, which will show what are the properties are being copied. Say color, line type, line weight, line type, scale, all these properties. Along with those, if it is a text, text properties like style, justification, all those will be copied from source object to destination object. So if I select this object, you can see a preview is coming up. So it's color, line type, the source object, color, text style, text height, rotation angle, all will be applied to destination object. And let me select this one. I'm selecting this and press enter. You can see all the text style, height, rotation, everything has been copied from 
this source object to this destination object. So this is the use of match properties command in AutoCAD. Friends, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends. Thanks for watching and welcome to the next session.